All right, back on the saddle today. And uh, going to try to get this uh, done today. Time to play with some clay. Well, I put their cinch rings on the uh, saddle. They're going to be covered by the fenders anyway, so I don't know. Got to have them there so I can line up the uh, belly cinch for the uh, horse. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm laying out the... Uh, Part of the belly cinch. This is the uh, part that's made out of fabric, rope, or whatever. And uh, I'm going to have a ring here and a ring there, and then that's where they're going to tie the uh, or attach the saddle to the back of the horse on. Okay, I'm just uh, putting this strap on. I don't know how much it's going to be showing. That's why I'm going to this extent on what I'm doing. And it's going to be a double cinch saddle okay I've got to uh, put the strap on this side now top part of that ring I'm not worried about because that'll be covered up with a fender of the uh, saddle. I got the back rings to do. 
All right, what I'm trying to do is uh, put the uh, saddle blanket showing up underneath the, uh, the saddle. <laughs> Got to try to arrange that so that uh, it looks like the saddle blanket. Got the uh, cinch rings all on, and uh, there's a strap that goes between the two cinch rings that uh, keep them from separating. Those will probably be covered up by the uh, fender, but I'm not sure of that until I put the fender on. Oh, actually, it won't be. All right. I was just looking at the uh, photograph of the saddle I'm looking at, and uh, yeah, it's time to start doing the fenders. All right. This is the uh, cinched the way I have it, and. Uh, I've got to make the uh, stirrups for the saddle, and I've not worked that out yet, but they're going to have to be turned in like that. But I can't really do that until I get uh, the cowboy on the, the horse. And I'm going to go ahead and put my fenders on and uh, have that at least ready to go when I do that. It's not right either. What I'm trying to do is to do the uh, leather that goes over the saddle itself. And it comes down and just above the one that goes, there's a lot of layers of, of saddle material on this saddle. Of course, all this is going to be probably covered by the cowboy anyway, so. But I still want to get it on there. 
All right, I'm going to redo this guy's head. It's way too big for his body. Uh, the uh, cowboy is scaled, or this body is scaled to the uh, horse. And uh, like I said, I got to work out the... Uh, position of the uh, fenders to his feet, which will be barely in the uh, stirrups. But this is the position the cowboy's going to be in. Alright, I'm going to let this go for now. The figure of the cowboy, I'm going to I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put him on the horse and start working his uh, body um try to get it to a point where I can get him attached, basically. All right, everybody. Have a great night. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.